world with no mice. Guys, wrong mice. But seriously, using a computer without a mouse, well, that would be the pits. All those windows, menus, buttons, links, no thank you. But mice also have a downside. Repetitive use with a traditional mouse can cause pain over time for some people. That's where ergonomic mice come in. Hooray! They're designed to put less stress on your wrists, forearms, and shoulders as you struggle to make your deadline. But they do look strange. And with so many shapes and sizes, how do you know which type is right for you? If only they had speed dating for electronics. Luckily, CR's ergonomic expert, Dana Keister, checked out a bunch of ergonomic mice. And by checked out, we mean she assessed what each mouse requires of your hand, wrist, and forearm. She also ran them through a battery of tests to find out how the different styles affect the user's accuracy and efficiency. Let's just say there was a whole lot of clicking going on. Dana says there are two main factors that set mice apart the orientation of the palm, and whether there's an optical sensor or a trackball. First, the orientation. With the traditional horizontal mouse, the base of your hand is on the desk and your palm and fingers are on the mouse. That leaves your forearm fully pronated and the muscles in your forearm are working overtime to keep your hand in that position. Using a horizontal mouse also creates some degree of wrist extension, the motion you make when you're reluctantly fessing up to something. Yeah. It was me. I put the empty milk carton back in the fridge. That wrist extension could cause pain for some people over time. A palm rest may help, but another option, go vertical. Using a vertical mouse is like grabbing a can of seltzer out of the fridge. Dana says this position isn't as hard on your muscles and reduces forearm pronation. There's still some wrist extension, but your shoulder will likely pitch in to help. The other factor that sets mice apart, use of either an optical sensor or a trackball to get the job done. Optical mice use what is essentially a small camera in the device to move the cursor across your screen. That of course means you're moving your fingers, hand, wrist, forearm, shoulder, you're practically dancing. So if your upper extremities aren't up for it, you might want to consider a trackball mouse. A trackball mouse uses, you guessed it, a trackball to move the cursor. Today's versions are much different than those old trackball on the bottom ones. Dust and other stuff would get stuck in there and the ball would refuse to move at the worst possible time. Today's trackball mice have the trackball somewhere on the top and you move the ball, usually with your thumb. This ball also needs to be removed and cleaned periodically. Using a trackball reduces forearm pronation. And because trackball mice stay put, you don't need to move your hand, your wrist, or your arm to move the cursor. This is a great option for people in pain from moving their optical mouse all around. Dana says the downside of trackball mice, they take some getting used to. So don't get rid of your old mouse right away, just in case you and the trackball don't click. The bottom line, using a mouse is like writing with a pencil. Everyone's got their own way of doing it that works for them. What will work for everyone? We found you can get a great ergonomic mouse for less than 30 bucks. For more on ergonomic mice, check out cr.org slash ergonomic mice.